Please welcome to the podium our 2019-2020 Faculty Teaching Excellence Award winner, Dr. Sarah Evans. First of all, let me say to all of you graduates and your family and friends, congratulations. Second, as a biology professor, it feels like I would be highly remiss if I didn't take this last opportunity to talk with you about an important scientific principle. Now don't worry, you don't have to take notes, no pop quiz today, although this might show up on the final, so be warned. Homeostasis is a principle that we talk a lot about in biology. This is the idea that living things can maintain steady balance in the presence of internal or external change. And true whether we're talking about an individual cell, a stalk of grass, a redwood tree, a jellyfish, a porcupine, a kitten, or a kitten. I'll give you an example. As humans, our arms are very skilled at temperature homeostasis, maintaining a constant internal temperature under all kinds of conditions. Out jogging on a hot afternoon in July and get too hot? Well, not to worry. Your body knows just how to get that internal temperature down. The hypothalamus in your brain will recognize that you're too warm and send signals to the blood vessels to dilate, resulting in more blood coming to the surface of the, sp of the body. You may become flush, but more blood at the surface allows your body to release some of that extra heat through the skin into the environment. At the same time, your sweat glands will activate and start to secrete sweat, which is vaporized by the body heat and allows for a cooling effect. All of these responses work together to get that heightened internal temperature back down to a healthy level. On the other hand, Temperature homeostasis works the opposite way as well. On a cold February, out on a cold February day, brushing snow off your car and get too cold? Again, not to worry. Your body knows just how to get that internal temperature back up too. The hypothalamus again recognizes the change and sends signals to the blood vessels, this time causing them to constrict, pulling more of the blood volume down into the deeper tissues and minimizing heat loss from the surface of the skin. At the same time, muscles are activated and contract, and you start shivering, generating more heat for the body and bringing your internal temperature back up to where it needs to be. It's really quite amazing how we, as biological systems, can maintain homeostasis, this internal balance, adapting to all sorts of different kinds of changes. And it's similar whether we're talking about homeostasis of temperature, homeostasis of salt, of water, pH, blood sugar, calcium. I could go on and on and on, but you get the idea. Our bodies want balance and will work very hard to maintain it. So, why talk about homeostasis at commencement? Well, as you know, these last 15 months have been a time of much unexpected change for all of us. What I want you all to recognize is that in the midst of these changes, you have done a magnificent job of maintaining your homeostasis adjusting to these internal and external influences to keep your balance and equilibrium. I'd like to share a few examples with you. I know students who have adapted to online learning, mastering new technologies and study strategies in their efforts to maintain their studies. By the way, my prediction is that Zooming may be the most significant new verb of the decade. I know students who have significant financial changes as they have lost jobs or had hourly cut back, in some cases leading to changes in living circumstances as they have had to move back home with parents or other family members. I know students who have handled new family responsibilities as they have cared for younger siblings, supervising and helping them with their on online learning 
all while trying to balance out their own academic work. I know students who have worked on the front lines in hospitals, emergency rooms, clinics, and countless other essential settings, knowing full well that they might be putting their own health at risk. I know students who have felt especially vulnerable during recent turbulent social circumstances and have found peaceful, positive ways to let their educated, reasoned voices be heard as they seek for change. I know students who have missed opportunities to play their favorite sports, facing the disappointment of canceled matches, games, and tournaments, and having to find new ways to develop and maintain athletic skills and conditioning. I know students who have had heightened anxiety and depression during these tenuous times and have had the courage to reach out and ask for help from professionals in managing their symptoms. I know students who have handled isolation, social change, and needed distancing with grace, finding creative approaches to connect with friends and family in safe ways. I know students who have cared for family members, parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, and siblings who have come down with COVID and needed loving care. I know students who have dealt and continue to deal with the loss of family and friends to COVID. And I know students who have come down with COVID themselves, in some cases having to miss significant amounts of classwork as they manage symptoms, yet coming back strong and successful. This is you. You have dealt with these changes and challenges admirably and have found ways to maintain your homeostasis and adapt to these changes in incredible ways. Now note, this doesn't mean that there weren't bad days or sad days or emotional days or days that may have seemed endlessly bleak. But the fact that you are sitting here in these academic robes today means that you've found that balance and that you've made it. What I want you to know is that your graduation today is not the end of change in your lives. In the years to come, you're going to, main, you're going to face new jobs and careers, perhaps continued schooling and training. Some of you will move to new places worldwide with the need to make new friends and establish new roots. Some of, some of you will find yourselves in new family situations, perhaps starting or expanding families of your own. You're going to be constantly working to maintain your homeostasis and keep that proper balance between your work and your home lives, balance between your family, job, and community responsibilities, balance between reaching out to others in service and maintaining appropriate self-care, balance between physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. In my limited experience, it seems like the millisecond that I've found that perfect balance, something changes, everything shifts, and I have to reach homeostasis all over again. What I've realized is true for me, and likely true for each of you as well, is that reaching homeostasis is not a one and done kind of thing. This is a process that will continue for the duration of our lives. Now I realize that these may seem like daunting challenges, but we are beings of change. And I want you to remember that each of you has the ability and the strength to maintain homeostasis through all of this, ever finding that internal balance in the midst of all these crazy altering conditions. And the beauty of it is that we don't have to do it alone. Just as the body draws on multiple organs and tissues to maintain temperature homeostasis, the brain, the blood vessels, the sweat glands, the muscles, we also can draw on multiple resources to help when we need it. Each of us has family, friends, and colleagues who care and can lend a listening ear and a helping hand when we want some assistance. And there are counselors, therapists, medical doctors, faith and spiritual leaders, advisors, support groups, and any number of resources we can turn to when we might feel overwhelmed in our search for homeostasis, all ready and willing to help us regain our balance when we need a little bit of help. So that said, 
again, congratulations. We are so very, very proud of you and all that you have accomplished. We are thoroughly excited to watch how you are going to go out into the world, maintaining homeostasis in all aspects of your lives, and being leaders who will continue to transform society in truly marvelous ways. May God bless you always. Thank you.